Yeah, yeah. What's funny is, energy. What's funny is he was the I'm the only person that had him number one on my list for greatest Compton rappers. No, you didn't. Wait, I had him on my. I had him. I had. I had him on my list. Oh, no, G is saying he had, he was a number one. He had him at his number one. Got you. Got you. That's fair. Don't get up here. Come fuck around. But wait, yeah, hey man, on. hey look, man, hey Compton niggas, man, that shit all smooth, cripping blood, shit. Can't nobody in Compton out rap game, nigga. Can't nobody in Compton out rap me, nigga. Facts. Talk to him, nigga. And Kendrick, my nigga, Kendrick do his sure shit. I love that nigga list. to death, nigga. I love Kendrick to death, but I, nigga, I flew past Kendrick when that nigga was on foot, nigga, in a Range Rover, and showed him how to do this shit. Don't play, nigga. Don't play with game, man, nigga. Compton, nigga. Hardest nigga in Compton. Rapping, lyricist, nigga. Me. Any nigga that say any different, nigga, I'll body him and the nigga he fuck with. Talk. Preach. And Kendrick, and Kendrick said that Energy. shit himself. Preach. Preach. Now, yeah, hey, yo, and I, and I don't do this shit a lot. Glasses, but I, I'm, nigga, I'm off a few shots of tequila, nigga. And I'm feeling real. I'm feeling real Rosecrans and Wilmington tonight, nigga. Can niggas hey, can't fuck with Chuck? Hey. So, yo, gang, I, I, let just, me ask you a question. Just said that. Yeah, let me oh. ask you a question. If we gotta take, if you gotta take yourself out of the equation, right? Who do you consider to be your top three greatest rappers of all time, from Compton? From Compton. Greatest rappers in Compton or greatest rappers of all time? Greatest Compton. rappers of all time from Compton. I'm gonna have to go with uh motherfucking. I'm gonna have to go with Kendrick, uh, MC Ren and DJ Quick. Talk. Wow. wow. That's a list. That was my list other than Ren. Because niggas got to understand, man. That nigga MC Ren was playing the, the ghostwriter for NWA. When that nigga Q wasn't there, man, MC Ren was writing all that shit. I, what's your favorite song from Compton? The best no, no. Oh, yeah. Did y'all do that yet, G? No, no. We talk about the greatest records from Compton. The greatest records from Compton. The great, if it's one record. I'm gonna got me, my nigga. I walk, I walk, I walk across the train tracks, my nigga. A lot of days, nigga, the dollars and cents, nigga. On my mama, I can't lie. That's my that's shit. That's a man. motherfucking. This nigga Chuck never let me down, dog. Hey yo. Hey my nigga, when yo, dollars and cents came out, it was like hit him up for pop. Talk my nigga, that him. shit was that shit was too too amazing. Talk to him. Talk to him. Yo, my phone was going crazy. What happened? What I miss? I'm telling you, you said dollars, dollars and, and motherfucking cents, man. Eh? That's bro, a, that's one of my favorites. Greatest, bro, that, I don't know, but but that's one of them ones though, bro. And when he did that, the Source Awards, bro, that shit was that mind blowing, bro. Quick was snapping on that record, bro. That's one of the craziest bars in the disc record, bro. You left out the G because the G ain't it. Yo, what the fuck? It's actually a disc record that don't get named. It's, it's underrated, like on a grand Super scale. Super underrated. Super. Not by me, bro. Not by me. Fuck that. That's What's crazy crit- is, it's probably the second greatest disc record ever out of count. What's the first one? No Vaseline. With Dre- Fuck with Dre Day. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Fuck with Dre Day was so cold. Niggas partied and fucked with it so hard, they forgot it was even a disc. And real motherfucking Jesus third. I can't Damn. argue those. That's crazy. Y'all motherfuckers boy. Nah, no Vaseline, dog. But I, I respect it, though. <laughs> no Vaseline. He's from South Central. Oh, well, man. Oh, yeah, you're we right, can't you're include right, that. Right. My bad. You know what? My bad. You, you, my bad. I stand corrected. My yo, we, yo, we didn't even we didn't even talk about what were the, what, what was uh, everybody's number one song ever out of Compton. Glasses, go ahead, man. The greatest song out of Compton. Uh, that, uh, let me just think. Give me a second. I got to figure that one out. No, you got enough time to <clears throat> Nah, I'm gonna go, really... go with Boys in the Hood, Easy E. That's a great song. Okay, fire. Okay. That was fire that was my pick. That's a fire pick, Deuce. Yo, Trey, yeah, what's your? Oh man, y'all done named a whole bunch of joints, man. But uh, that's the police or or deep cover for me, man. I, it's, it's just not one of those two. Love deep cover. Crowds. I got Gangster's Paradise. I mean, shit sold like 10 million, you know? Mm-hmm. Greatest, we're talking greatest. That motherfucker is a cold joint, too. That is a spec. 
That's one of the most yeah, that's it's a special one record. of the most underrated songs in hip hop history that doesn't it's like the track masters where you just don't really give it the homage and proper respect. Why do you think that is though? Do you think it's you think it's because of the movie? Because it crossed over. Yeah, yeah. crooked, crooked talking yeah. about this where something no, who was saying it earlier that somebody could get so big cut that they like that you just track somebody was explaining to me track masters and they was saying that maybe the commercial success jaded exactly what it was. That song was so commercially viable. Like that shit probably got, I don't even want to know how, like how we was talking about Bob Deep the other day and uh, it being possibly the greatest record out of New York. Gangsta's Paradise could possibly be the greatest hip hop record out of California. I mean, like from the West Coast, like it could be one of those songs that we just don't trip off because it was so successful. But at the time when it came out, niggas really felt like it, it represented you know what I'm saying? So it's it's that's a crazy song. Game, you gotta pick for the for the number one Compton song ever. What'd you say, my nigga? Dollars and cents. You already said, went. Oh, he went? Oh, he said dollars and cents already? Yeah. That's the number one Compton song ever. All right, Blaze, you got one? Boys in the hook. Shit. Cherry? Oh, you cherry, you said nothing but a G thing, right? Yeah. Ill Will, did you pick? Nah, and I was I was gonna say that mine was nine but a G thing or controversially, but because he's here now, hate it or love it. Mm, that's another sleep. That's a record. That's another listen, listen, sleep. listen, that listen, listen, listen. That record is timeless. And on this side of the pond, that record was bigger than fucking Michael Jackson records. I'm telling you right well, now. Funny, Will, I remember that shit in real time going Me too, to be bro. the number one record. That's crazy. Bro, me too. I, I I review. I had to review Game's first album, and I lived with that shit in real time. I hated it. I loved that it. shit. Raise and raise and raise, and I'm glad he's right here. Hated or love it, nigga. I was at the video shoot. Hey, I missed out. I was in the booth. Talking about I hated or love it by Fifty Cent. By Game. Hey, dog. And the hey, game. Hey, 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 I missed some. Hey, I wanted. I wanted to know. I wanted to know what. Uh, I wanted to know what Game's. Uh top three was if he excluded himself. I, I'm sorry, y'all. My, he I, said I Doc, Quick, and MC Ren. Okay. Yeah, for sure. For, yeah, that was that's a, that's a dope list, bro. For real. Crook, did you pick Did you pick a song? Greatest rap song out of Compton, Crook. I'll probably go with Fuck the Police. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Only because it's still... Oh. Oh, they're going to play real motherfucking uh, relevant right now. Yeah, forever. It's timeless, bro. Go, go. No play your hand. Welcome to the stage. Love, love. What up with it? How you doing, man? Blessed and grateful, man. Blessed and grateful and honored to be invited, you know? Absolutely. How do you feel about the conversation so far? I'm just peeping game, man. Everybody got their opinions and things. You know, It's uh, it really just boils down to that. Really, and um, I mean, you know, we got our favorite this, our favorite that. You know, we all do. You know, it's several. Sometimes it's this. Sometimes it's something else. You know. Can you share with us some of your your favorites out of these uh, out of these topics, like top three greatest rappers of all time from Compton? Wow, greatest! I, see, favorite and greatest they kind of <laughs> coincide with me. I, I I can't really even name a greatest. I got my favorites though, you know. I like I liked Easy. I, I really liked Easy a lot, man. Um, he was influential, you know. Word. Uh, man. And I gotta go way back, even though uh, even though he ain't have a lot of records, but I heard somebody say something about Toddy T, man. I um, I uh. I respect the way he came in the game and what he did and the way he was coming. And uh, even though, you know, it did what it did, however it did it, I, I, I respect that, you know? Hey, Ham, let me ask you something. What's some of your earliest memories, right? Because a lot of people don't know Ham is very instrumental in DJ Quick's rap career. Like, I, getting to the depth of it is a whole nother conversation, and that's something he can explain. What's some of the earliest things that you remember where you thought to yourself, like, man, Quick is going to be nice, being that we're talking about Compton rappers? Uh, 
Well, when I first met him, homie, he um his his uh his way he put music together, man, I, I just knew uh I just knew he was a diamond in the rough and a and a goose that was gonna lay some golden eggs. You know what I'm saying? Uh based on everything that was going on at the time and the way he would just soak up knowledge and game and in the way he, you know, could very easily emulate anything that he heard practically right after he heard it. You know, he, it was obvious that, that he was going to be impactful. So the, what was the first record that you heard at that time when he was working on all of that stuff, when y'all was working on Quick Is The Name? that you thought should have been, was there a record that you thought to yourself, man, this right here, I knew this was going to be the one. Did you, when you first heard Tonight, how did you feel about that song? Oh, uh, man. Um, the way Quick would find them samples and put them together, bro, he, uh, Tonight was definitely one that everybody loved as soon as they heard it the first time they heard it. It's know? my favorite song. It's, it's one of my favorite songs ever. Ever. Sorry, yeah. sorry to interrupt y'all. Can you guys pull up uh, Re in the audience? Yeah, S send me a message. Go ahead. Oh, that's oh, talking Eddie's about Reed, the homie Reed. That's she's, Eddie's daughter. she's the last person that just joined. That's Easy's daughter. I got it. I got it. I got it. 